What is up guys, Tells A6 here with Weekly Review, and today I decided to go ahead and do something I haven't done in a very long time, and it's nothing having to do with unboxings or video game uh, reviews or nothing. This is something that, well, even Deefy went ahead and showed on Facebook and stuff, and he actually uh, went ahead and said that I should show these off. Again, uh, for those of y'all who have been with me since the very first episode of Weekly Reviews, I showed off a bunch of video game t-shirts and accessories and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to actually show an updated uh, video game t-shirt collection that I have uh, going through every single one of my shirts. Now, I have a huge, huge amount of them, so um, I'm hoping that each one of y'all are going to enjoy each of them that I have. Uh, so, anyways, let's go ahead and start. First one is a very special Super Mario World t-shirt all in Japanese. Now this one uh, I don't think you can find it anymore. I found it at Walmart actually for ten dollars. So there's nothing on the back, nothing. It's just a real bright yellow but it's really really nice. It has Mario with the Yoshi and it's Super Mario World basically though but that's one shirt. Uh, these next couple ones that I'm going to show off are ones that I actually just recently got um, that hasn't been about a month or two yet. I actually went ahead and got them all three at the same time because they were just a perfect deal. Um, they were three shirts for ten bucks. That's epic. Epic, epic. So, the first one I'm going to show off is Dig Dug. Now, I'm sure you all saw this when I did my Radio Shack TV scoreboard uh, unboxing. So, this is the Dig Dug t-shirt that I got so again nothing on the back of it just Dig Dug and it even shows on the inside Dig Dug right there if y'all can see that if you can't sorry so that's for that one next one we have another one from Namco which is Galaga one of my favorite old top-down shooters and of course nothing on the bottom there's a uh, Galaga being rolled in right there at the bottom. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And of course, also on the inside it says Galaga right there. So, another nice shirt. Another one. And then my favorite one is a Pac-Man one. Nom, nom, nom. Enough said. Can't be any better than that. And again, nothing on the back of it. And it says Pac-Man also on there. So all three of those I got for ten dollars so very nice deal. Now this one is actually from a set but I do not have the pants with them for right now apparently those are uh, missing and I have to go find them but it's a uh, Paper Mario t-shirt. Now it did come with a pair of pants as well but like I said I can't find the pants right now I'm having to look through my room and find them so as you can see though made by briefly stated uh, we make America smile well if we make America smile then uh, bring us some more games <laughs> especially bring us some more Japanese RPG games we need more of those um, next one is I'm gonna throw out a couple Sonic ones next because some of these are uh, some of these are really epic especially Sonic the Hedgehog from Sonic 2 with Tails and Sonic and everything showing on the background and nothing on the back, uh, nothing on the top, because it actually had a, it had a huge tag with this when I first got it, and me and tags don't go well. Like, I mean, I don't have any tags on my shirt because the tag will just, yeah. Anyone who knows anything about tags knows exactly what I mean. They will drive you nuts. Next one is another Sonic one. Uh, it's an old school one, as it says old school Sonic the Hedgehog uh, this is a really old one actually I've had this one for about almost three years now so it's it's a cool shirt though it's a really cool shirt and I found it at a uh, clearance aisle a clearance bin in uh, JC Penney actually for about 10 bucks so that was also another good deal it was regular I think it was like 25 but still really good really good deal next we got a plain one-up shirt from Nintendo and from Pro Weight Delta. They usually make some really good shirts and this one has lasted me for a long time. 
Um, I've had it for about just, this is almost one of my first set of shirts that I got when I first started getting back into gaming uh, after I got my PS2. So, yeah, that's another good shirt though. And then, next one. Now this one is one of my most special shirts of all because this is a special ordered uh, t-shirt that I went ahead and had requested that Sega would let me go ahead and have permission to have printed. This is a custom made Tails t-shirt. So this is really awesome because when I first got this I went ahead and actually emailed Sega on their forums actually on uh, Sega's website and I went ahead and just asked them out of curiosity. I said would you guys ever let me go ahead and actually have a shirt for me to have for I mean just for just for memorabilia so I went ahead and got a reply back saying yes that I could and I went ahead and sent the website that I had uh, especially make this for me so I got it and I've taken this is one of my shirts that I absolutely take care of mostly because they Sega doesn't usually do anything like that they don't usually get permission but I guess the guy thought I was just a really good guy and I mean he let me go ahead and have the permission to get it made so um, it's it's a really cool shirt it's really big shirt but it's still awesome though and it's one of my most prized possessions so next one we got these are some uh, some of these are pretty funny ones next coming up not this one but some other ones but I've got a black Wii shirt right here I don't wear it as much I'm not really a person that wears black too much uh, especially because I mean having long hair and all that I mean I know my hair doesn't look like that long but it's real thick hair so um, I try not to wear too much black because I sweat real easily so as I'm pretty sure anybody that has real thick hair they sweat real easily or they can't handle certain colors of fabrics and stuff but anyway that's another shirt nothing on the back and made by Pro Delta so next one is one that I actually really wanted a long time ago and I never got the chance to get it until now which was a Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess uh, t-shirt and it's a very big shirt it's a very big shirt but it's also very well made um, a lot of the shirts that I have these are not a uh, pure cotton most of them are between polyester and cotton because uh, I have a little bit of allergic reaction to certain cotton and certain fabrics and stuff so I'm, I'm very lucky that a lot of the shirts that I have are more polyester than they are 100% cotton so but again there's the Zelda one uh, sorry if the lighting's bad because of my the room that I'm in whenever I record my videos has sometimes the worst lighting so now this next one is one of my favorite Nintendo shirts because they don't sell them anymore unless you go to a special store or unless you look online but Nintendo Rehabilitation Clinic the first step is admitting that you have a problem now when I first saw that shirt I thought to myself okay I'm a huge Nintendo fan I have to get this shirt and they had it on a clearance uh, online. It was actually from uh, Stylin' Online, actually, and I'll go ahead and include a uh, link to the uh, website, and y'all can check it out. I don't know if they still sell these on there for that much, but when I got it, they had a uh, they had a real special sale on them. So that's another one, and nothing on the back, of course, and it's made again from Pro Delta. Next one is a Bullet Bill shirt. Now this one I actually got for Christmas actually this year from my sister. Uh, so thank you sis for getting this for me. So it was a really nice shirt. Um, now like I said, I'm not usually one to wear black, but I mean I will wear it. I'm just not going to wear it all the time because, yeah. But it's a really nice shirt though. It's real lightweighted and also made by Pro Delta again. So. Next one, this one's an old one. This one's a very old one. Found this one in a JC Penny. This is a old classic Super Mario Brothers one shirt with the one on with the World One One and everything on there. Also made by Pro Delta. Or Delta Pro Weight, excuse me. So that's another one. This next one is another Delta Pro Weight. And it is a Super Mario Galaxy t-shirt. 
And I actually went ahead and got this from a GameStop, actually. Um, when Super Mario Galaxy was coming out, they were actually giving out shirts, actually, at mine. Uh, apparently, the Nintendo rep there actually had a bunch of shirts that they were giving out, so people who were able to get a copy of it also got this shirt. So, I got really lucky on that. I got really, really lucky on that. This was, like, the last shirt that he had, um... And it was actually, amazingly, it would fit me, so I was like, wow. So, I haven't worn it in a long time, but I mean, I still have it, because I mean, that's just, it's m the memorabilia for being able to own Super Mario Galaxy at the first time, especially since it was my only second Wii game when I first started getting into the Wii. So, now this next one is not really a video game shirt, but it's one of my favorite ones, because it, it symbolizes me so much. My perfect day. Wake up, play video games, eat breakfast, play video games, eat lunch, play video games, eat dinner, play video games, go to sleep. <laughs> now when I'm not working, when I'm off, that's what I'll do. But otherwise, I mean, that does, that almost symbolizes me perfectly. So I don't even know where I got this shirt from now. I think it was my dad that actually got it for me, but that's an awesome shirt though. Now, here's another one. This one is a uh, special one that was an imported shirt from Japan. This is a Sonic, uh, a Sonic X t-shirt, actually. With uh, In the back, you can see Knuckles. You can see Shadow right here. You can see that right there. But, pretty cool shirt. I haven't worn it in a long time. I, mean, I used to be such a huge Sonic fan back in the day, but now it's kind of starting to dwindle away. I don't know why. I mean, I'll still play the old Sonic games and couple of the other newer ones, I mean, I might be interested in that new one that they're coming out with the PS3 and 360, but I'm not really as huge of a fan of Sonic as I used to be. It's it's just kind of dwindling down, I don't know. But, I mean, it's still, it's still a good franchise, or at least when Sonic Team wants it to be, but otherwise, yeah. Next one is a Mario Brothers 3 t-shirt, actually, with Tanuki Mario hitting a block with the mushroom in it. And again, this one is from Delta Pro Weight. Uh, no tag though, because this one had one of those uh, tags that were real, real itchy on your neck and stuff. So I went ahead and cut that one off because sometimes they're not that bad. Sometimes they are though, so it just depends. But another nice shirt though right there. And this next one still has the original uh, official seal Nintendo tag because I actually have not worn it. This was also another shirt that my sister bought me. This is a really nice shirt with all the characters from Mario with Bowser and uh, you see Koopas and some uh, everything. So another nice shirt and also made by Gildan or Gildan Heavy Cotton. Now, it's actually a, it is 100% cotton, but it's one of those pre-shrunk ones, so, I mean, I don't think this will have any problem with the fabric or nothing, but I mean, it's just, I guess it's just certain fabrics. I mean, I know I said uh, different fabrics, but yeah, anyway. Boom well, with the next one. Okay, now this one I actually got when I was in Phoenix seeing my sister as well. And this one is a Kingdom Hearts 2 t-shirt, and this one is just absolutely epic. And it was the last one that they had. It was at a Hot Topic, actually. And sadly, the place where I live, I don't have Hot Topic. I don't have a mall to go to. We have to go, like, about 20, 30 minutes away to get to a mall or anything like that. Because otherwise, there's, just, there's no malls around here. I mean, there's, like, shopping centers. But, I mean, there's not an actual mall or a Hot Topic or anything like that. There's just nothing out here like that. And I'm really hoping that sooner or later we start to get one, but another nice shirt though. Real nice shirt right there. And then of course, uh, one other shirt that y'all have not seen for a while is Super Meat Boy right there. Sorry if you see the light from my uh, fan and everything, but there it is. Now also what you're seeing right there is a Metroid Other M. Let's turn off that light for a second while I'm doing this. This is actually a Metroid Other M mini poster that was signed, as you can see right there. See right there, it was signed actually by a Nintendo rep, 
um, they actually came in and they knew I was a big fan of the Metroid series and they thought well we'll go ahead and throw that in for them too so it it's pretty nice but anyway there's the other t-shirt that I also have which is of, Met, of uh, Super Meat Boy uh, it is signed, but it's been in that frame since the day I got the shirt, and it has not been out. So, I mean, I've been sticking true to that. I have not taken it out, except for one time when I had to go ahead and clean the frame, because apparently the uh, the inside of it somehow got dust. I don't know how, because, I mean, that thing is covered in. It's, it's stuck in there, so I don't see how dust could have gotten in. But anyway, going off topic again, next shirt... This one's just a plain Wii shirt with a nunchuck, so nothing real, nothing real, real fancy, but another uh, Delta Pro weight, nothing on the back. Pretty cool shirt though. I haven't worn it too much. I might try to either give away in a yard sale or something. But next shirt, this is a really cool one because it's an old, old one. This is a Donkey Kong T-shirt from back in the day with Mario on the bottom right there, going straight up to try to save. Princess, or excuse me, not Princess. Um, I cannot remember what her name is anymore to save my life. I know she was in like uh, the Mario vs. Donkey Kong March of the Minis and all those other games, but I cannot remember her name at the moment, so um, no hating on me for that. <laughs> you can't remember everything now. But another really cool shirt, another one from Delta Pro Weight, another nice black shirt. And then the final shirt is another Sonic X t-shirt. Now this is one that I actually found at a convention center actually here in Texas actually. Um, they were giving away these shirts actually for I think it was $15. They had them, they had like even uh, some Sega reps out there actually who were showing off like I think it was around the time Sonic Hedgehog 2006 was coming out and they went ahead and gave these away, so it was it was really cool to actually go ahead and get one of these kind of shirts. Even though I'm not really a fan of the Sonic X cartoon series, I don't know anybody that really is either, but, I mean, it was still really cool to go ahead and get a shirt like that and be able to see, like, demos and stuff of the game, even though the game completely failed. But I think we all know that, right? But anyway, guys, that was my video game t-shirt collection, and... Also, while I have y'all's attention also, I went ahead and decided to also do one other thing that's real special. I'm going to be having a giveaway, um, actually by the end of this month, I'm actually going to get some Nintendo Point, a Nintendo Point card and have a drawing for a person who can make me a new intro. So, any one of you guys that are good with computers and know how to make a video intro, uh, it has to be within 15, 20 seconds at the most. Um, you can make it however you want, and you're more than welcome to go ahead and try that out. Um, I'll be posting up a video when that contest starts, uh, probably start by next week, maybe. And also, before I forget, I want you guys to go ahead and start giving me questions. Any kind of questions at all. Now, of course, remember, nothing too personal, nothing... Uh, Nothing to have to do with life or anything like that. Um, anything video game related or what my favorite video game series are or what kind of anime I like. Anything like that. You're more than welcome to ask me. So if you want to in this video or on the giveaway video, uh, just post a comment on the bottom. And I'll go ahead and try to answer it on the next video. So I'll just pick a bunch of random questions that anybody asks me. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been Tales A6. Take care.